Okay, so now we're going to give a an interesting, um, well, we're going to go through some examples where the expectation actually is infinite or undefined and talk about how we'll try to understand how um, how to make sense to those cases. And there's a very well-known example called the St. Petersburg game or the St. Petersburg paradox. And that's going to be our first example. Okay, so this is an example of infinite expectation. So what we're going to do is we're going to toss a coin until the first head appears. So toss a fair coin, so 50-50. Until the first head. And so the distribution is geometric probability one half. And we're going to call this W. So until the first head. So let's let W be the number of tosses required. until the first test. And the way the game works is that we're going to win an amount of money, which is two to the power W minus one, depending on how many tosses it takes. So this is the random variable we're actually interested in how much money we're going to make from this game. So for example, if the outcomes are tails, 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 heads, then it took five tosses. And we win. two to the five minus one, which is two to the four, which is $16. And so every time we toss a tail, the prize doubles. And X is the amount that we win in this game. So the question is, what is the expected win? Okay, well, how does this work? Well, probability, what's the probability that we win any given amount of money? Two to the power K minus one is, well, we win two to the power K minus one when W is equal to K and W is equal to K if we flip K minus one heads, so remember the geometric distribution is Q to the K minus one times P and Q and P are the same in this case, it's a half to the K minus one times a half. So it's just one half to the power K or two to the minus K. So then the expectation, all of the values are positive so we can Sum over all values starting at one and going to infinity. Probability that X equals two to the K minus one times two to the K minus one. Probability that X is equal to two to the K minus one is exactly Two 
two to the minus k. And then it's times two to the k minus one. So what we see is that the two to the minus k and the two to the k cancel out. We're left with a two to the minus one, which is one half. And we're summing it from k equals one to infinity. So we have one half plus one half plus one half plus one half plus one half. infinitely, that's infinity. So the expectation is infinite. And so this was um, what makes this uh, a so-called paradox is that this game was proposed and this expectation was calculated. This goes back a long, long time. St. Petersburg is a city in Russia. And the logic behind it was, well, the logic behind the concept of expectation is if that you should be willing to pay any amount of money up to the expectation in order to play any given game because the game because uh you're expected to profit then right so if the expectation of a game of, of an outcome of a game is a hundred dollars and i pay fifty dollars for it that means i'm expecting to profit fifty dollars by playing that game so in this case the expectation of playing this game is infinite so in principle, I should be willing to pay any amount of money in order to play this game. I should be able to, I should be willing to play, to pay all of my, uh, you know, my entire net worth to play this game because I'm expecting to get infinite back in return. But the problem is that practically speaking, most of the time, I'm only going to get a couple dollars back, right? But half the time I flip ahead on the first toss, I get a dollar back. Right, three quarters at a time, I'm going to flip ahead on the second toss and I get two dollars. Right, uh, and then an eighth of the time, I get four dollars, and so on and so forth. So, actually, the vast majority of the time, that, that already accounts for 87 percent, 87 and a half percent of the possibilities, I'm getting back less than or equal to four dollars, and it gets even worse, even worse than that to the point where. 99 point some you know 99.9 percent .9 of the time essentially i'm getting less than a, i'm getting a pretty small amount of money back um but i'm potentially paying all this money all this money out so the, the the paradox is how could this be how does this make any sense and so this is something that we'll come to throughout the throughout the course that, that we'll come across concepts that will make more sense of this um but this does highlight, at least on the on the one hand, an initial question on how do we interpret expectation. And the reality is expectation is not that big of a problem to interpret uh, in most situations. But when we get into case of infinite expectation, it is hard to interpret infinity. Okay. So now let's do a second example, which is a case where the expectation does not exist. So now let's suppose we have a random variable which takes values two to the n two to the minus n with probability one over two to the n plus two. This is for values n equals zero, one, two, et cetera. Then the expectation does not exist. Why? Okay. Uh, no, I did this. This isn't two to the minus n. It should be minus two to the n then the expectation of y does not exist. Well, let's think about this. What is the positive part of y? The positive part of y is the maximum of y and zero. Right, this is equal to two to the n 
for values two to the n or zero. Y minus is the maximum of minus y and zero. This is also two to the n and zero. And this happens with probably one over two to the n plus two. This happens probably one over two to the n plus two. So what is the expectation of y plus? It's the same as the expectation of y minus because the distribution is symmetric, but we see that the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the possible values, which are two to the n, two to the n, and then times the probability one over two to the n plus two, the two to the n's cancel and we're left with sum from n equals zero to infinity of one fourth. So we have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. It never comes down and it's infinity for both and infinity minus infinity is undefined. So that's, a, that's an example of a random variable whose expectation is undefined. And what that means is that as this, as we keep observing more and more of this random variable, we're, we're more, we're, we're, we're likely enough to observe a very, very extreme outcome, even though it might be very unlikely, eventually we're going to see a very large ex extreme outcome. We're going to continue to see these extreme outcomes in either direction so that the intuitive justification for expectation, which we got up here as the simple average of values, doesn't converge to anything, doesn't settle down to anything. And so in a sense, we have no idea, we have no reasonable expectation for where this random variable is headed and where it's gonna end up, even as we collect uh, indefinitely large amount of data. So those are some pathological cases, so to speak, but um, we're much more often going to be dealing with um, more reasonable, more well-defined cases. And we're going to come back and talk about how we think through those situations and some of the properties of expectation in those situations.